Good morning. Good Monday morning, my warriors. We're in the Bronx. We're in the Bronx. We got to say a prayer that we can make it back to Coney in one piece. And as you know, Coney is the weekend. We're going to fight to survive and we're going to make it. It's a beautiful sunny morning in Orlando, Florida. And it is, yeah. 9.30 a.m. right on the nose. Don't have time to say a rosary, but I got a time to say a few prayers. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Hey, join me in this one. Let's pray. Here we go. This is my, my first morning prayer all the time. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Come what may, it's a beautiful day. Lord, may what come today be butterflies, rainbows, and love. But if it's hornets, hail, and heartbreak, give us the grace to deal with the hornets, the hail, and the heartbreak. Amen. And y'all know, more often than not, it's the hornets, the hail, and the heartbreak. But anyway, Monday, October 18th, time keeps marching on into the future. And today is 100 and... 41 days later, marching into five months. Soon, baby, soon. All right, everybody, have a beautiful, blessed day. I'll talk to you all later, and let's start our show. Welcome to 141 Days Later, a sobriety vlog. And now, our host. My name is Joe, and I'm an alcoholic. And I'm an addict, and I'm literally losing my fucking mind. I never had a day turn start out so fucking amazing and then on a dime it was like the good the bad the what the fuck just happened oh holy shit I'm still fucking processing it I'm off of work tomorrow I have to call in sick because Michael's going to be home with no one to take care of him I have to take care of him because, and I, I'm not going to drop keywords at three o'clock this afternoon. <sighs> Fuck. Michael's bus driver. This is, this is around when I'm, I'm finishing my lunch. So, so it's close to four o'clock. Michael's bus driver to take some home mentions to the nurse this bullshit that Michael was in contact with someone who has, let's just say, the virus of the day. I'm not going to say it because the fucking, it'll be my fucking video. I'll get whatever fucking YouTube does. The nurse fucking loses her mind. And <sighs> so now I have to stay home. I have to call in sick tomorrow. I don't call in sick. You could give me the sick days. I won't use them. That's that's how an Italian from New York rolls. We'll show up fucking dead. <laughs> like a fucking zombie. And taking care of Michael ain't no fucking picnic. The, the man is dead weight. You know, he's a year older than me. Wiping a 54-year-old 54 54 man's ass is not fun. So it's not like a good day off from work. Normally by now I'm I'm in bed asleep. It, it's one fifty one a.m. and I've just been sitting here like literally b beside myself and triply like fucking the multiple man. Jamie Madrix, fucking multiplied all over the place, beside myself, processing this bullshit. I mean the day I'm gonna play I'm gonna play the videos how the day started. And I was on cloud fucking nine because I got to speak to my supervisor. And I said, hey, you know what? I'm off next Thursday and Friday. She goes, yeah, I know. It's on the calendar. I says, you know, I didn't realize till last night over the weekend. Next Wednesday is day 150 for me of sobriety. That's five months. And I was just wondering if you could do me a favor. I have one day left to take off. It's called an um, 
employee designated holiday. You get two of them. And she goes, well, you got to check to see whoever's in this. This is really her just teaching me how to do something. You got to check the so-and-so chart to see how many other people are off that day. And then I said, she goes, no more than five could be off. And I see four are off. So I said, so I can, I can submit it. <laughs> and I submit it. And then she teaches me, well, it has to be five phone people can't be off in a day. So she approved it. I'm on cloud fucking nine. And then this bullshit happens. Fucking shit. And it's so funny because I was talking to one of the customers. I said, I'm going to give you my motto about life. Royalty free. No licensing fee. And this is what I say. Life happens. Whether you want it to or not. And that encompasses the good and the bad. And it sure fucking happened. I mean, can things be worse? Absolutely. You know, I've taken care of Michael before. It's just... It's... It's... Uh, oh. So Michael's brother hit the fucking... The shit hit the fan, and he wants to get rid of the nurse. But I'm like, you know, I understand what you're saying. I agree with it, but... She shows up. Other people come and they never come back. It's just, I don't know what the f... All right, I'm going to play some video clips, show you how awesome my day started up, and then we're going to come back and... And I had, on a Monday, I got seven CSATs, six perfect, one neutral. And the person that left me the neutral starts it off with, Joseph was great, exclamation point. Then they go and bitch about something with the company. So once again, I get a boot in the ass... But, you know, but at least when the supervisors have their meeting and they go over the CSATs and stuff, they're like, well, it wasn't Joe's fault. He did a great job. It's, you know, but some rave reviews, I'll put those up quick. It's almost like a anticlimactic pat on the back. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to play these clips. I'm going to come back, do my CSATs and wrap it up. I'm just fucking... <sighs> We got to get back to Coney, my warriors. We've got to get back to Coney. Right? I told you, today we started off in the Bronx and things were great. And it went, right, Ed? Right, like just like in the movie. It's in the Bronx. It's starting off good. Everything's going to unite for the better. And then you find yourself fighting your way back through hell to get to Coney. But I don't even know where Coney is. Is the nurse coming back in a day? Because she wants to stay away for four fucking days. Holy shit. All right. I'll be right back. And I'm doing this after every call. Because I'm just like... <sighs> right now, Coney Island isn't just the weekend. Coney Island is 3 o'clock, my lunch hour. If I can make it to 3 o'clock, less than an hour, I get my lunch hour, then it's just like three hours left of this Monday bullshit. So, hope everyone's having a good Monday. Just an update. I'm going to do a little more of these updates to fill in the show, and not always just me sitting there talking like a jackass. It could be me sitting here like a jackass and me sitting out there like a jackass. So, Jackass is united. Let's get back to Coney. Quick update. Just got some great fucking news. Great fucking news. So I had to meet with my supervisor to ask her for help on some bullshit, some old bullshit. And I said, hey, I was going to ask to meet with you anyway. I said, you know, uh, I'm off next week. She goes, yeah, I'm aware. I says, but something I wasn't aware of, I noticed yesterday. Um, I'm off next Thursday and Friday. Next Wednesday is 150 days of sobriety for me. And I said, trust me, when I put in for those two days off, sobriety wasn't a part of the equation. As a matter of fact, 
Drinking that entire fucking weekend was the intended purpose of having Halloween weekend off. To get fucking shit ass drunk and watch horror movies. So I said, I have a favor to ask. I have one more employee designated personal holiday. Can I put it in on that Wednesday and I'm celebrating five months of sobriety Oh my! I'm I'm fucking crazy gluing my guitars to my hand. So she goes, well, you have to check and some shit. She emailed me months ago, because now there's like, how many other people are out on a given day? You have to check for that. And if it's more than, it can't be more than five phone people. So I pull up the list, and I think she did this to torture me. Four other people are off that day, so I said I'm gonna put it in. Right? She goes, go ahead, put it in. I made her walk me through that. And I, I believe she just approved it. So now, and this is going to make working this week more a, a little more easier, but also I guess a little more, uh, is that I have next Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So starting on my 150th day of sobriety, I have a five-day weekend. And you know what? I'll be sober that entire fucking weekend. I'm going to be making music. And that's what the fuck we're going to be doing. That's how I'm going to be celebrating. So this is a blessing. This is a beautiful fucking thing. I'm in a great mood right now. I am 27, 26 minutes. It's just turned to 234 to get to lunch. I'm going to be praying my divine mercy, chilling for about a half an hour. Then I got three hours left. I am in an excellent mood. It went from like, mm, to yeah, motherfucking. Oh, wow. Yeah, but well, you know, when I submitted all my days off, I said to her, I said, well, sobriety wasn't a part of the equation. This is kind of one of those, <laughs> well, life happens. Remember, there's another saying I always have, and you could all have this, free of charge, no licensing fee, no royalties. Life, and this, this, is, this is for the good and the bad. Life happens, whether you want it to or not. And with that, Let's continue our day. I love every single one of you. It's, it's like... <laughs> fucking Monday, you motherfucker! Holy shit! I just got off a 35-minute call and the woman drained the fucking life out of me. Holy shit. I'm on my first break and... Oh, wow. I hope everyone's having a better... I'm literally sitting there thinking to myself, now, you know, my old job at the church wasn't so bad. I just had to go in and clean up a bathroom and a fucking mess, but at least you got left alone? Oh, oh my goodness. I, and that's, you know, and you, you, you deal with a phone call that's that long and that drains you that much and you think to yourself i i got a 15 minute break what the fuck can i do in 15 minutes and that's that's what fucking kills me but oh my goodness look what we got getting getting ready to do somewhere we got an ernie ball for a condition this stuff is great I got my 10 gauge skinny top, heavy bottom. Got got a three pack. I got two left in here. But then I got the power slinkies, 11 to 48, 11 gauge. I got the 11 gauge on my, uh, that Strat that's now officially mine. That beautiful Fender Squire Strat. And I love them. So, I'm going to make my cup of coffee. Hopefully, I have a few more minutes to come back and talk. So, I'll be back in a few minutes. Uh, made my cup of coffee. And my 15 minutes is up. It's like I have enough time to take two sips. Jeez. Jesus, Mary and Joseph, I love you. Save souls. There's a quick prayer. Oh, here's, here's something interesting. <laughs> You know what they call 
quick prayers you say like that that are just really like a sentence. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you, save souls. Quick prayers like that are called ejaculations. I'm not, I'm not kidding. They need to get a new fucking word for that shit. It just don't work in this present day and age. You know? <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> Why not just call it a prayer job? <laughs> I, I, yeah, I went into the living room. I had a cup of coffee. And I got myself a quick prayer. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh, you had, a prick. you had a quick prayer job? Yeah. <laughs> was that, oh, was that one of them uh, quick ejaculations? <laughs> All right. Oh, my goodness. Let the day of work be as fucking goofy as I am. God bless us all, everyone. <laughs> oh, man. Someone needs to, you know, set up a, like a pontifical council to approve shit. Yeah, we'll call those ejaculations. No. No, you're not. No. Maybe we'll call them a prayer job. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> and we're back. I mean, today started out amazing. 10.14 a.m. I'm fucking logged into work, but technical difficulties forced me to log out and relaunch. My first call got kicked because the stupid VPN, company VPN kept booting and reconnecting and it kicked the call. So I was like, I got to restart my computer. But in the restarting, I ordered a brand new guitar, which will be here Wednesday. <laughs> I know, but, and now it's like bittersweet because I'm so unsure of what, I just want to be left alone. Me and my beautiful new Schecter Custom V, the Flying V made by Schecter. Fucking Schecter's awesome. It'll be, I think this is going to be my sixth Schecter. And it's like, I just, just, you know, wake me up when shit goes back to normal. Well, I can't say that because I'm on fucking diaper duty. Holy shit. Well, let me show you this sweet guitar. And one thing that helped the decision, it's transparent purple. And, well, you know me with the colors green and purple. Who's got green skin and wears purple pants? I am that stupid. I am that retarded. I know the word isn't politically correct anymore, anymore, but, you know, if it walks like a duck, quacks like a duck, and water rolls off its ass like a fucking duck. So this is it. This is the entire thing. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And this is just a close-up of the body. Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy it. I may have to take off Wednesday, too, because tomorrow's just going to knock me the fuck out. Even if the nurse is back Wednesday, I'll be fucking knocked out. Taking care of an adult, a disabled adult, I mean completely 110% disabled, very stressful. God bless people who do that for a living, and God bless people who do that because it's a family member. And I've done it, and I've been doing it since 2009, but usually there's a nurse around. There's been times where I've had to do it myself. We've survived. Thank God. All right, let's look at these CSATs. This one's kind of creepy because it's like, what? who's they? They helped me. Smiley face. I'm a they? Am I possessed? Are th was it their demons that helped them? But okay, you gave me a perfect score. Thank you. Very professional and knowledgeable. Thank you. God bless you. Friendly and efficient. 
Thank you so much for noticing. Oh. The representative was very knowledgeable and was able to answer all of my questions. And whenever they start with, I have some questions, I come right back and I say, I've got more answers than you got questions. Don't worry. Lay them on me. And I get a laugh every time. And if I get them laughing, I own it. These two are really nice. Really. And I had to take out the company's name a few times. Usually they don't name the company, but these are people that were pointing out how great I was and how I make the company look good. So which I really like that. You know, my supervisor is going to see that and wave that around like a flag in the supervisor meeting. I have never had anyone in customer service take care of me the way that Joe did. He was amazing, and I would highly recommend company name because of my experience with him. Put that in your fucking pipe and smoke it up. The person helping me was easy to communicate. He readily got to the point and was able to do what was needed to get me on my way. Best customer support I have received so far from, uh, company name, thank goodness, exclamation point. That's a good one. And then we end with this. This was my, I got a seven. And remember, between six to eight is neutral. Joseph was great. Well, thank you. It's your credit department that holds up our receiving our needed reports in a timely manner. If you have credit issues with our ordering department, then please contact the ones ordering that something is paid before we need something so we can... And they choked to death. Uh... But I was great. Oy, oy, oy. Listen. This is already going to be longer than I've intended. I love every one of you. Life happens, whether you want it to or not. Could be worse. Right? I'm taking care of somebody I love. You could always be burying someone you love. I've done that too many times. Trust me. So... God bless all of you. I'm keeping it that simple. Pray like St. Padre Pio says. Pray, hope, don't worry. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pray, I'm going to hope, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to worry. And like a Vulcan, like a Vulcan, I will live long and prosper. <sighs> no matter whose adult ass, I got to wipe. And then I get back to Coney. Right now, Coney is my new guitar coming on Wednesday. <laughs> At least I have a job. Now, here's the I'm looking on the bright side. At least I have a job that pays me uh, a sick time off, right? My other job didn't do that. Yeah, you could take the day, but you're fucked. So I have that. I have a job that designates employee-eligible holidays. So now next week, I'm going to have a nice five-day weekend to celebrate five months of sobriety. Coming up in November, I got a week off. I think I got 10 days off. And then in December, I got another 10 days off. And work is starting ever so slowly. We're leaving peak, so it's all right. It's okay to be aggravated. People say, ah, I ain't worked at the church. Yeah, I can't complain. No, you actually can. Go read the Psalms. A third of the Psalms is David bitching and complaining. Most of the time, the only time God will hear from us, if, and he wants to hear from us, like a parent, like a loving, a perfect loving parent. Sometimes the only time he'll hear from us is when we're bitching and complaining and need something. But he's hearing from us. It's a start. Hey, good night. This has been 141 days later. Now it's it's it now we're like three hours, two hours into 142 days later. I'll see you tomorrow. It'll be an interesting day. You'll have videos with me and Michael made throughout the day. Nothing with me wiping an ass though. I won't do that to nobody. I do it to myself. But look, when I do stuff like that, let me tell you, I'm gonna quote the Bible. 
I tell Jesus, Lord, you said, when you do it for the least of these, you do it for me. And that's why it's all right. Don't, don't be fucking full of pride that you're above wiping someone's ass. You know? If you are, if you think that way, you, you're full of yourself. And when you're full of yourself, you're full of shit. And that's some shit. You'd rather clean up someone else's ass than that kind of shit. Good night. As Tiny Tim says, God bless us all, everyone. <laughs>